Hi guys, Garrett McKenzie here, and welcome back to another episode of Garrett McKenzie Fishing. In this video, I'm going to go over some of the baits and gear that I like to use for catching crappie. Uh, recently, I've done pretty well on the lake. Went out for, usually I just get a few hours to fish, but uh, went out and I caught some that were 11, and the biggest one was 11 and a half that I caught. So I thought I'd just go over some of the gear and uh, tactics, tips, stuff that I like to uh, do to catch them. So, first I'm gonna start out with the lures, and then I'll go over the rod setups I like to use. Got a few here. Uh, there's a few different things you can use. Uh, first I'll talk about some of the crankbaits I like. Uh, mainly the crankbaits that I like to throw are just the smaller rebel ones like the crawfish or the one that I really like to throw is the crick hopper uh, really good little lure there uh, but and there's also this uh, floating minnow one uh, that's what it's called I like that one quite a bit uh, there's a few other ones this other one but just smaller crankbaits seem to work well as they are more of a predator when they get bigger so they're looking for more small bait fish to feed on uh, versus a smaller insect uh, one that's really good is this is just the original floating uh, rapala so good lures to use of course, uh, then I have some top water ones. I've got. Uh, one second, I've got for top water. I've got a smaller hula popper, and this uh, cricket or uh, grasshopper popper. So I think that about does it. There's a few other ones that you can use. I know uh, Strike King is supposed to make some really good ones. I think it's. Itsy, itsy bitsy crankbait or something like that. I'll have to try some of those. But uh, those are pretty much the crankbaits and some of the lures that I like to use. Uh, what I've been doing pretty well on lately is just jig with a grub tail. Uh, Roadrunner style jig. Really works well. Then of course a uh, beetle spin beetle spins always seem to do well we got this one uh, looks pretty cool caught a few on this this is uh, what's it called the spin, spin R by uh, I think it was Johnson that made that one uh, but pretty cool and uh just another one of those Roadrunner style jigs. Uh, I've got some, just some jigs with various skirts. Uh, of course, I've got a few different colors and varieties of tubes. Tubes work great. Uh, different styles, different colors for different days. Uh, got this one for clear water days. Got this one. For more of the muddy water days, maybe something in between. I might throw a little one brown with chartreuse. Uh, never know. But uh, just little grub tails or uh, swirl tails really work well. Got some different ones. I've got some yum. These are a little bigger. Uh, mainly in white got a few in chartreuse and then this color re really seems to do well kind of a black and a beetle green I would say with uh, chartreuse and glitter in the tail really works well just just throw them on a basic your basic ball head jig like that you could just throw it on there and it seems to work really well I do have some more uh, little bait fish imitation soft plastic just something really simple. Made me more of a swim shad. 
Uh, but yeah, and one other thing that I like to use sometimes is uh, I make flies. Some sometimes I'll use my uh, handmade flies, and that seems to work pretty good for bluegill and crappie. Uh, got a few on it. But yeah, there's and then there's a couple other things you can do. You could use uh, worms, or you could use just a minnow and a bobber. So, uh, just make sure when you're hooking a minnow, you want to get a uh, as thin of shaft as you can, just to hook it because the bigger shaft is gonna leave a bigger hole, and it's gonna kill that minnow a little quicker, or more chance of killing that minnow quicker. So use a thinner shaft hooked for that. Uh, but yeah, that was pretty much it. I'll quick go over the run reels I throw them on. Got two different things. This is a Cabela's Fish Eagle uh, rod and reel combo. I've this is an ultralight, so uh, I've got a little tube with the jig head right here, and then I will. I have a bobber up here. I don't know about two, three feet. Uh, I would, if you're thinking about getting a crappie rod and reel, I would recommend. Going with more of, this is my other one, it's a light, and I would recommend going more with the light in case you catch a bigger crappie or some bass. Uh, you'll have plenty of stuff to, uh, plenty of power in the rod to bring that fish in, especially if you get weeds on it or something. Uh, and then I've got a little fluger reel that I've got. Uh, then one of the baits that I really like is, uh, this is a VMC, i just leave that on there. It's a VNC kind of swim bait. It's called the boot tail, boot tail jig, uh, but a really cool, it's a pretty light uh, jig, but that's what I actually caught my uh, 11 and a half on. Really works well. And uh, the rod I was throwing that on was a Abu Garcia Vengeance uh, light rod. So, but yeah, whether you throw a, crankbait or a roadrunner style jig or a, a tube those would be my first go-to lures for you guys to recommend uh, if you go with a you go start out with a, a jig then if that doesn't work go to a tube maybe slow it down um, if they're more active I mean if on slower days you're going to want to throw more of a tube something that's going to be you can work it a little slower just kind of lightly moved along the bottom uh, on a day that's kind of in between uh, you might want to throw a jig uh, and then on the days they're more active I would throw more of a crankbait probably give them a bigger meal since they're more active uh, but yeah that's been kind of the lures that I like to use for crappie so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it's gonna be uh, pretty long but uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you next time on another episode of Garrett McKenzie Fishing. Uh, thanks for supporting my channel.